Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about multi-step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, a minus 6 is less than or equal to 15 plus 8a. Okay? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine my like terms. I'm going to bring my a's over to the right, or sorry, left, and my numbers to the right. So I'm going to subtract an 8a to both sides. And then I'm going to add a 6 to both sides. And what that does, excuse me, a minus 8a is a negative 7a is less than or equal to, right, 15 plus 6, which is 21. Okay? Well, now I need to get a by itself. So I'm going to divide by negative 7 to both sides. And we have a by itself here. Now, since I divided by a negative over the inequality, that inequality needs to flip from a less than or equal to sign to a greater than or equal to sign. So we have greater than or equal to. 21 divided by negative 7 is a negative 3. Positive divided by negative is a negative. And now we have A isolated, and that's it. A is greater than or equal to a negative 3. So now I want to graph it. Well, let's, let's go by 3's. 3, 6, 9, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. Well, if A is greater than or equal to a negative 3, the key thing first is equal to means a closed circle at negative 3. Okay. Now, since a is also greater than negative 3, I'm going to put my arrow to the right, showing that a is greater than my negative 3. And that's it. We have our graph here that matches our inequality, which is a is greater than or equal to a negative 3. So let's recap. We had a minus 6 is less than or equal to 15 plus 8a. I subtracted 8a to both sides, and I added a 6 to both sides. Make sure you match up where they went, right? So, okay, make sure everything's crossed off. We're good. A minus 8A is a negative 7A, and 15 plus 6 is 21. I then divided by a negative 7 on both sides, giving me A by itself on the left, and then 21 divided by a negative 7 uh, is a negative 3, right? A positive divided by a negative is a negative. But since I divided by a negative over an inequality, we need to flip the inequality, giving me A is greater than or equal to now negative 3. Equal to sign, uh, when I graph it, it gives me a closed circle, and the greater than sign makes me put my arrow to the right. And so now we have a graph here that represents and matches our final answer, which is A is greater than or equal to a negative 3.